mean absolute deviation, or MAD. The mean absolute deviation is the average distance between each data value and the mean. To find the MAD, follow these simple steps. First, find the mean. Then, find the distance between each data value and the mean. And finally, find the average of those distances. So, here is some data that represents the number of points scored during eight basketball games. So the first thing we need to do is find the mean. Remember, mean is the average, so you add up all of the values in your data and divide by how many there are. So when we add all of these numbers together, we get 448, and there are eight pieces of data, so we're going to divide by eight. So the mean is 56. So now let's find the MAD. So the first thing we need to do is find the distance between each data value and the mean. And when I do this, I'm going to rewrite the data values in order from least to greatest. So 48, 52, 54, 55, 58, 59, 60, and 62. Keep in mind that the mean is 56, so I need to think about the distance between each data value and the mean. Distance is going to be a positive value. So 48 is 8 away from 56. 52 is 4 away. 54 is 2 away. 55, 1 away. 58, 2 away. 59, 3 away. 60 is 4 away. And 62 is 6 away from the mean. Now we need to find the average of all of these numbers. So what we want to do is add all of these together and divide again by 8, because there are again 8 numbers in our data. So when we add all these, we're going to get 30, divide that by 8, and the MAD is 3.75. So what does the MAD tell you? Well, the MAD is the average distance between each data value. And in this case, that tells us that the average distance between each data value is 